Kelly Burke. Welcome to Talk Stu. Thank you. Now, you are here representing an organization called Dodo. Yes. A high five. Steve is giving a high five on that. Big up to Dodo. <laughs> Do tell. Yeah, so the Dodo is a digital brand for people who love animals. So it's the full spectrum of people. It's people who are obsessed with their pets, like you. I wouldn't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and also the animal advocates. We do a stories and videos about animals, really shareable, really entertaining. And our goal is basically just to make caring about animals a mainstream viral cause. Not only did you guys launch the magazine, the digital magazine, but you're killing it, right? I mean, it's like the fastest growing yeah. animal online service out there. It's kind of crazy. We're the number one publisher of animal content on social media. So last month we got 500 million video views across okay. all of our platforms. Okay, so just wait. Now let's just hold it on that one for a second. <laughs> 500 million video views. Yeah. Now was it all funny cats? No. Okay. Surprisingly, that actually is not our top performing category. It's really rescue videos. We had this one video of this guy that found a little baby squirrel on the ground. The baby squirrel had fallen from a four-story building and the, his mother abandoned him. And they're, they're completely inseparable. They live in Denmark and this little squirrel goes on walks on a leash and loves chilling in this guy's coat pocket. And they're just the best of friends. And there's people doing this stuff, just saving animals. And it's so amazing. And that's what does well. Do you have a personal pet rescue story that's moved you? Yes, I do. So we followed this dog for a while. It's a little bulldog puppy named Bueller. And he was dumped by a breeder because he couldn't walk. His two back legs didn't work. And so a rescue, they found him and rehabbed him, made him swim a lot, which helped rebuild the strength in his legs. And they actually got him back on his feet. And we covered the story from start to finish, from when they found him to when he found a forever family. And that those videos just went so viral, he captured the heart of millions of people. And there's so many animals in shelters that need to be saved, and they're not just dogs. There's all different types of animals, even here in New York City. This is Clear the Shelters. Yes, you've heard about Clear the Shelters, oh, okay. It's an amazing effort that NBC does to get pets into their forever homes and out of our shelters. What should people know before they head to the shelter about what kind of animal is right for them? I think people should just go in there knowing what it takes to take care of an animal, but I think that they shouldn't be like, I want this type of breed, I want this size, because they might have a connection with an animal the second they walk in there, and that's really what it should be based off of. Clearly, because of your great readership, everyone's already reading the dodo. But if you want to learn more about NBC's effort to clear the shelters, so the dodo.com is our website, and you can see all of that stuff too on all of our social accounts, mainly Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, we'll be covering that there too. And finally, your job there is to do social media, so you think that Steve has star quality? I definitely do. I think if you just show people his personality and show that he's more than just, you know, a dog that follows you around all day, yeah. and that he actually has, you know, emotions, I yeah. think that, that's the trick. That's what we found is our special sauce. What is he feeling now? I think he's like, can this be over? And, uh, it's <laughs> oh. too hot. Oh, is that what you're? Oh, yes, it can be over. Well, listen, hey, no, no to, to the dodo, to the, <laughs> to dodo. the dodo. Cheers, cheers. And to rescue animals. And to rescue animals. That's right. Don't buy from a breeder. 